Hello YouTube and welcome to another Minecraft build video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a combination lock on your doors that will keep people out of your storeroom and keep your goodies safe. So first, place your levers wherever you want them and then behind, this is where we get fancy. Place two layers of materials like this and redstone on the second one. To set a combination with those levers, put a redstone torch behind any lever you want down, and for the remaining ones that you want up, place just regular redstone. Put a knot gate at the end and connect that to your door. This will keep your items safe from... WRONG! This isn't a vault. This is a vault. Okay, so what I'm actually showing off today is my double rotary combination lock. The perfect example of how laggy pistons can be. So, you have your markers that move around each ring. You have your inner ring and outer ring. And you set the combination by, or you input the combination by moving the markers around to the correct positions. And rather than talk you through it, let's actually do it. Okay, so this is step one, cobblestone on the outer ring, wood on the inner ring. Let's go to step two. And this is n number two, bookshelf on the inner, uh, what's it called, end stone on the outer. Let's go to three. And there's three. And there's my secret staircase. There's also a lever in here for that. Fly. Okay. And that's basically how it works. You rotate them around using the power and direction switches for each ring and you input the three values in the correct order and your door will open up. There are plenty of built-in uh, safety things, I don't know what to call them, where like if you stop on a incorrect input value it will clear all your progress and you will have to start over and um, what else? There is built-in tolerance um, so that if you do stop on an incorrect one you have a couple seconds to get it moving again before it erases your progress and stuff like that. Uh, to uh, close the door again, put it on a wrong input value and clears your progress, closes your staircase. And that's pretty much all there is to it, to control and whatnot. Um, there is a download link in the description if you want to go over the redstone in more detail. But, yeah, let's talk redstone. Um, the big secret to this build that makes everything possible is that the display rings you see on the inside are duplicated for their back using glass and another set of markers. This allows us to use repeaters uh, to detect when the rings are on any given position. Um, back here, I have pulled out a couple of examples of the individual parts to the redstone. Like this is the control circuit for on and off for a ring and direction. And this is one of the memory cells for the uh, redstone. And notice that if you go past one, com sorry, if you uh, go right past a input value it won't remember that it happened because of this built-in timer but if you stop on the correct oops if you stop on the correct input value it will stay on it and it will remember that you in fact did do it um, and you clear the memory cell again 
That's not working. Why isn't that working? Oh. Yeah, you clear it again by supplying power to this middle part. That was awkward. Anyway. Um, but yeah, that's basically all there is to this build. It's kind of a pain to operate. You need to get used to the timing and the delay between when the lever uh, turns off and when the ring actually turns off. But other than that, I am really proud of this build, and I'm, I wouldn't mind seeing more builds like this in like adventure maps and such. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.